So for the past year or so, I have had a ton of subscribers telling me in the comments, Brian, you have got to get your nose on Thamine Carved Oud. I finally decided to pick it up. But Carved Oud, is it a dupe? Is it a clone? Because some might say it is quite similar to Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Today, I've got a battle royale for you. Thamine Carved Oud versus Tom Ford Oud Wood. Which one's the better buy, which is the better fragrance, and which one is worth a whiff and sniff? Well, stay tuned to find out. Cue that intro. What's going on, my beautiful fragrance family? I hope each and every one of you are doing freaking fantastic today. And welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and helping you become a lasting scent memory. Okay, I do apologize about the last 10 days of being off. Um, unfortunately, I got in a car accident last weekend. Um, I did a live yesterday. If you have not seen that live, I'll leave it right here for you so you can go check that out. But yeah, I got in a pretty bad car accident. I still got some cuts and bruises all over me but i'm feeling better my back's still a little messed up but i'm back and i wish i could say i'm back and better than ever but i'm back and we'll just go with that you know as i said a lot of my subscribers over the last year or so have been telling me brian you have got to get thamine carved oud now it is said that it is very similar to tom ford's oud wood well i'm gonna be honest and this might be a little bit of a spoiler alert it is. But which one's the better fragrance? Which one is the better buy? Which is the better oud? In today's battle royale, whiffs and sniffs. All right, so we're gonna do this fragrance battle just like I do every fragrance battle. I'm gonna start with oud wood. I'm gonna leave the notes up on the screen right here for you and let's get to whiffing and sniffing. Now, oud wood will be on my left hand and let's break these bad boys down and see how similar they actually are. All right, so if you are new to fragrance collecting or if you are new into fragrances and you haven't heard of Tom Ford's Oud Wood, well, you're going to learn today. Now, Tom Ford's Oud Wood is a fantastic fragrance. I've always loved Tom Ford's Oud Wood. It starts out a little sweet. I don't get a whole lot of Oud throughout the fragrance of anything. It just adds a nice sweet woodiness to it. There's a nice underlying vanilla in it. You also get a really nice clean woodiness and the slight spiciness. Now, I think there's Sichuan pepper in this, but the pepper isn't overpowering. It isn't too much. It's a beautifully blended fragrance. In fact, if anything, it's the perfect amount of spice. There's also a really nice cardamom in Oud Wood. And the cardamom has a slight spiciness, a little bit of a sweet undertone to it, and then also a bit of a green facet. There's, a, there's kind of an earthy quality coming from the cardamom, but it's a really woody. It's nice and clean and woody. That vanilla kind of pops off right from the beginning. It's what's giving it its slight sweetness. And then that mixed in with the Sichuan pepper, the cardamom, it just creates a really nice, sweet, fresh, woody fragrance. I've always been a fan of Oud Wood. In fact, there's so many dupes of Oud Wood out there, but the thing is, is Carved Oud actually a dupe, or is it a standalone fragrance? Well, we'll get into that in just a second. In the full dry down of Oud Wood, I almost get like a chalky, powdery tonka bean. It's more like a talcum powderiness, so it's got a little bit of a chalky quality, and I think that's also coming from the sandalwood that you're gonna get in the base. Full dry down, I get that kind of powdery tonka bean and a bunch of sandalwood, and the sandalwood is very predominant. It's very easy to smell. Richard Herpin, who is the perfumer on this and who is also the perfumer of Precious Liquids and owner of Precious Liquids, did a bang-up job, but it's expensive. I know it's a designer fragrance, but it's Tom Ford, so you're looking at $250 for a 50 ml. If they haven't already gone up on their prices, I know everybody's been going up on their prices. That's expensive. And performance mm, is not that great. Not these days, all right? I remember when Oud Wood was, a, was pretty monstrous. You know, you'd get that seven hours of performance. This batch, which is a newer batch, it does not perform very well. I get about four hours of good performance out of it. Now you can detect it after that, but it is so close to the skin, you really gotta get your nose into it. But Oud Wood is a brilliantly put together fragrance. What about Thamine, carved Oud? Now this surprised me. It truly surprised me. I'll leave the notes right up here for you and let's get to whiffing and sniffing. Beautiful atomizer on this. Way better atomizer than Tom Ford's Oud Wood. And magnetic cap. 
I love me some magnetic caps. Right off the bat, it's more polished. It's more round. I get that oud. It's a nice, not funky oud, not skanky oud. It's a little musky. It's a little, it's got a little bit of a dankness to it, almost like a damp wood, but it's nice and sweet as well. So you're also going to get cardamom in this. And the cardamom is just done differently. It's got a little bit more spice behind it, a little bit more sweetness behind it. Carved oud is also more balsamic as it opens up. So you're getting like this sweet, woody, balsamic quality. You're also gonna get some woody notes and that's coming from cedar. And the cedar in this is very predominant. That is actually where I'm getting a little bit of like a dusty quality from it. Further in, you get this really nice patchouli. And I love the way the patchouli is done in this. In fact, I wish that Tom Ford's Oud Wood had the same type of patchouli going on in it because it would make it a better fragrance. Is that a spoiler alert? Am I saying that Thamine Carved Oud is better? Not saying that yet. The powdery quality that you get from Carved Oud is actually coming from some iris. And there could also be some coumarin, some tonka bean in here, adding an underlying powdery quality and sweetness. But actually, Carved oud is more powdery than oud wood. Oud wood has a powdery aspect, but oud wood is a little bit more chalky powdery. This is more natural smelling. Now, I will have to say also, I forgot to say this before, but Tom Ford's oud wood also has quite a medicinal opening. It's a little rough right off, you know, for the first few seconds. Carved oud, you can spray it, stick your nose right in it, and it works. I mean, it doesn't tinge your nostrils. It actually, it just smells really good. There's more cedar in this. There's more oud. So that oud kind of sticks around pretty much throughout the fragrance. And what, the way that I detect it is it's a nice sweet underlying woody quality. And I get a lot more resinous amber than I do vanilla in carved oud. Now the vanilla is there, but I believe that it's an accord created, an amber accord created that is kind of giving it the vanilla qualities. Beautiful musks throughout this entire fragrance, nice and clean, though there is a little bit of a darker musk in there, I believe, as well. Adding some depth and giving it just this really nice resinous musky quality. The patchouli is my favorite part about this fragrance. The patchouli in the full dry down really shines. Now you're getting that earthiness, almost like a soil quality coming from the patchouli. So it's a very raw patchouli, but it's a very well done patchouli that mixed in with the cedar there's a little bit of sandalwood as well in the dry down and the sandalwood really blends very well with the oud the musks the amber and that cedar to create this beautiful long lasting dry down carved oud is fantastic you do get those nice spices you get a nice sweetness you get those clean woods you get that nice oud you get the beautiful amber and that nice beautiful dry down i am super glad that i have picked up carved oud and I'm going to tell you why. I love Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I think this is a really well put together fragrance. I think it's really expensive. $250 plus dollars for a 50 ml. Thamine Carved Oud, you're looking at $220, $225 for a 50 ml. Now, still expensive, but you get bang for your buck with this bad boy. Long lasting. Projection, not huge. Not a huge projector. In the first hour or so, it really projects. If you walk outside and the wind catches you throughout the day, yeah, it's gonna have a nice sillage. People are gonna smell you. It's very, very natural smelling. It's very polished. It's very round. Now, do Thamine Carved Oud and Tom Ford's Oud Wood smell similar? <laughs> abso frickin' lutely. Thamine Carved Oud is more polished. It's got a little bit more of an ambery, resinous sweetness to it. The oud is actually natural smelling, and you can actually smell it. I love the patchouli and carved oud. I think it is freaking fantastic. I really wish that Tom Ford's oud wood had utilized the same type of patchouli. That's what really sets this apart is the patchouli and also the cedar. You get a lot more of that, and the way the musks are done in this as well. You really, it really helps the longevity and the projection of the fragrance. Now, like I said though, the projection isn't huge. It does sit quite close to the skin, but I get eight to 10 hours of longevity out of this, where I get uh, four, if I'm lucky, out of this. Now, like I said, even after that four hour mark with Oud Wood, it's still there, but you really gotta dig your nose into the fragrance to be able to smell it. So unless you're getting into like intimate situations, this one after about four hours, not gonna smell. But this one, you will. But we're all here to know which one I think is worth a whiff and sniff. 
Well, to be completely honest, I think they're both worth a whip and sniff. They are very similar. Do I think Thamine went out and tried to dupe Tom Ford's Oud Wood? Probably, actually. If anything, the perfumer was probably like, hey, I love Oud Wood. How can I improve it? How can I do it better? Because they did. That's just my honest opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you believe is better, carved oud or oud wood, or if you've even gotten your nose on either of these two fragrances. Just let me know. Leave me a comment down below. So here are my final thoughts. Price point, carved oud wins. Performance and longevity, carved oud wins yet again. Scent profile, hate to say it, carved oud yet again wins. It's a freaking fantastic fragrance. Um, I don't think it's exactly a 100% duplicate of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I can totally see that's the direction they were going. Uh, even the note breakdowns, they are quite similar. But to me, my honest opinion, the winner of today's battle, Thamine Carved Oud. This is a fantastic fragrance. Does that mean I'm going to get rid of Oud Wood? Absolutely not. I think this is still a fantastic fragrance. I think this is 100% worth a whiff and sniff. But I also think this is 100% worth a whip and sniff. If you were thinking about going out there, spending the money on Tom Ford's Oud Wood, and you smelled this before, get yourself a sample or decan of Thamine Carved Oud. I don't think you'll be disappointed. In fact, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Thank you so much to every single one of my subscribers who recommended me to pick this up. Sorry it took so long, but I finally did. And I'm super, super excited to have it in my arsenal. And I'm also excited to check out more from the house. Let me know down in the comments which fragrances from the House of Thamine you think I should get my nose on. And also, let me know what you think of today's battle. Which one do you think is the better fragrance? I'm always curious to know what your two cents are. But guys, that is it for me today. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed today's content, then do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails. <music>